honest, I was kind of hoping that I could match the times or go a little bit quicker, but I did have some doubts just because it was such a surprise at the times that I posted it uh, in France. I kind of thought, uh, what's the chances of me being able to repeat that again? I'm not 100% sure. So it was really nice that, especially for the 4 I am to actually swim faster than what I did at uh, Euros. I was really, really happy with that. Um, so yeah, so it's kind of it's finished off really nicely, I think. <laughs> It was, yeah, it, it swings and roundabouts really, I, it was really, really good because for me, you know, it's, you, you can say, you know, I've, be, I've beaten an Olympic champion and also it shows that she is beatable, so it is possible to be able to beat someone who's, you know, last 100 free so fast. Um, but also, you know, it's an opportunity and she might be in a different place that I'm at, so for me, it was just getting out there and just, you know, it's all about race and just being able to race tough and just try and touch the wall first, really. So, yeah, I really, really enjoyed it. It's probably one of my hardest but favourite races. You try and make sure that, obviously, we maintain what we've got at the moment, but trying to sort of change things up a little bit every now and then, because if you fall into doing the same thing all the time, it, you can plateau and sort of, the effect of it doesn't work as well, and you can kind of detrain from that a little bit. So, for us, it's just making, you know, these competitions keep motivation up, which is good. Um, and off the back of motivation hopefully means a harder training and just all the different ideas that my dad has which is really good <laughs> um, and just kind of seeing where it goes from there so it's definitely now trying to make what we've done short course and convert it to long course so it's going to be a tough ask but we'll see how it goes um it's the fun that i am you need to work on all four strokes and for me to be able to finish fast was definitely key and yeah she went definitely proving that point to us that you know you can have the best 300 meters in the world but if you can't finish the race it, it's not really going to happen and she really did highlight that to I think everybody so for us it's being able to make sure that you've got the endurance and and for me it's, as well it's nice to be able to focus on a different event other than the 400 medley um, so again it just increases motivation and just keeps me preoccupied with maybe a different event that's not so pressured as the 400 but it's a little bit fun and just a little bit different something that I'm not used to and something I can get a bit more experience at as well.